trade back in the UK. Yeah. How good did that? I mean, AT, uh, take nothing away from ATT. Yeah. No, I take it. Honestly, I, I have a lot of respect for ATT. I mean, you see my wrestling weights in there as well. And I, I go back for like maybe like my off time to improve my wrestling. But I feel as a fighter, I've learned that you need a team behind you that know you best. And uh, I've got it back here at home, so that's what I'm gonna keep. Feels like you've got your mojo back now. Back on you. I have, yeah. <laughs> I've got everything on board, I've got every, everybody together that know me best and uh, that's what we're doing. Without asking you to say anything bad about your, you know, about ATT, was it a case of them trying to mould you more into a more standard MMA fighter and sort of not the edge of your game? Whereas some of the stuff you do best is the wild, crazy stuff. And we, saw, we saw a bit more of that tonight. Uh, you lot ask very tricky questions. I've learned it too. Nah, it just, <laughs> nah, it just I just literally, I was there, it just seems like a, it's an MMA gym, but I have a lot of wrestlers, and a, a lot of the time I was spending on wrestlers, and uh, I was helping a lot of guys as well, so I just feel here, like I've seen that some people say I need attention, I don't need attention, it's just here, I've got more eyes on me, people that know me best, and uh, I work on things, if I like, do something right, spinning kick or something, I get feedback, it's great, so that's what I needed, to get feedback, so everything I do, if we, don't, if, we, if we don't like it, then no, we don't like it, I won't do it. But here yeah, I get feedback constant, and uh, obviously it stays in your brain, and that's what I've been doing. And against Joe Duffy, I mean, you won't find many classier guys in the sport, right? It was a nice moment between the pair of you at the end of the fight. It helped him back up to his feet. I mean, the word on him and, and you know, what it was like to compete against someone like him. Uh, like Joe Duffy, honestly, I, I respected him since the beginning of the fight. Since I knew I would get matched up with him, I had a lot of respect for him, because personally for me, I was with three losses. He was nearly fighting for, I think, a ranking side to get into rankings. And uh, I felt like he didn't, he didn't have to take this fight with me. You know, For him taking that to get me back to where I needed to be, I was very grateful for that. It's a relief mark tonight as well. It's that like sort of the, the emotion that came out at the end. Have you calmed down? <laughs> <laughs> now I've got a beef with him. We're not over yet. So, what do you say? <laughs> Was there, you know, was that relief we saw tonight? After yeah, it was relief. Yeah, I just need, I think I just needed that because honestly, like, people don't realize that what what we go through. I put, my, I've been going obviously my personal life as well, and uh, I'm, I've managed to sort everything now, and uh, I put myself through hell for this camp. So I'm just grateful to get this win. So what's next for my good Casey? You want to stay competing on this side of the Atlantic, get some European shows in, work your way back up, or are you going to get yourself back up as high as you can as quickly as you can? Nah, I'm just going to be a lot smarter now than I was. You know, I'm just taking fights after the fight. Now, is, now I've got a team, and uh, I'm going to work on certain things where I'm not good at and then uh, improve. And obviously, take my time and see what's next.